Super E then says Fipro Fitness Center Limited has decided to purchase and install new gym equipment. They have received a quote of 225000 Can Fipro Fitness Limited afford this investment? Explain your answer. So it's going to be a short little answer. So Fipro can afford the new gym. It can finance the cost of the 225000 by selling the investments and receiving 90000 cash. So they're talking about the investments that you have here in your balance sheet. So you can sell these investments and we're going to get 90,000 for it. Okay. Then issuing extraordinary shares and collect 130,000 cash for it. So or 150 from shares and 75,000 from investments. So we have 150,000 of shares that we can still sell. So we've authorized 500,000 we've issued 130 so there's 150,000 there we can sell so we could sell 130,000 to make up the difference so 90 and 135,000 give you 220,000 or we could sell 150,000 of shares and 75,000 of the investments so they've just repaid a loan including interest of 63,000 and spent a net of 152,000 on fixed assets both of which are non-recurring nature so what they mean by that is that the fixed assets we have here, such as the purchase of um, the adjoining building, the furniture, they made a profit of 117,040. So you go here to profit and loss 117,040. And then they also have a bank balance of 2,240. So remember, we adjust our bank balance to take into account the check and the bank charges. So the company has no need to borrow to fund the project, which will eliminate interest payments and result in higher future profits. So it won't be okay to go with it. Okay, so also probably to put in there, can FitPro Center Limited for this investment? You can say, yes, they can. So make sure you put that in. Okay, probably a mark going for that in the marketing scheme. And that's how you answer the theory part of this section.